Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And I found this uh, nice little mod for you guys, and it is uh, Greenhouse Productions, and it's version 1.0. And it's brought to you by a modder of the name of Scooby, good name. Um, but I'm going to go into it. Uh, it should hopefully keep you guys busy over the weekend until Farming Simulator 2017 comes out. And with Halloween literally just round the corner, I thought I would uh, show this mod off because it does actually have pumpkins in it. Okay, you can see them growing. Um, it's placeable. Um, you can don't have to use be um, masters in um, Giants GE to use it. Uh, you just have to place it down. Now, I'll show you where it is in the mods categories. It's got its own little section. Uh, as you can see, it says Greenhouse Productions on it. So it's not under placeables, it's under its own little category. So you select that um, in here. You you find it's quite a, um, everything. You don't have to unpack the zip, by the way, guys. It's You just place the zip into your folder and, um, and away you go. Uh, what I will say um, is obviously, like I say, this is version 1. So, if you're watching this at a later date, uh, you may find that the mod has come in and changed it in some aspect. So, please bear that in mind if you're watching this at a later date and the version has changed. Um, but anyway, going to the nitty gritty. So, in the, in the, it literally, as I say, in the greenhouse productions, it comes as all part of the kit. You'll get everything you need to run it. Um, there's several bits you're going to need for it to run as well. Um, you get this trailer as well. Uh, you don't have to use it. Uh, it's just a, uh, it's just a uh, bale trailer and a wood trailer, so it collects um, pallets for you. But if you've got one already that will recognise it, then use your own one. If not, you've got that one as a backup. But in the pack, you get uh, quite a few greenhouses. Uh, you get this uh, cauliflower greenhouse, and that. To cost is one hundred thousand pounds, and or whatever currency you're working in, and a hundred pounds on whatever currency you're working in per day. And all you need for it to work, you can see it kind of bit the text glitched out a bit there, but um, again it says it's placeable. And all you need is um, manure, water, and a stack of pallets for this to work. And again, I'll show you. The pros and cons is it's quite good. Again, it's pallets, so if you've got a map that has already quite a few f um, seed types on it, it might not be advisable for your map. That's one of the cons. Um, obviously, because of the way Giants does, I think if it's another field type, it might cause your map to go, um, and or it might, you know. So it's better for those maps that have got. Um, less fruit types on it. Next con I'd say with it is because it's not UPK ready, it's not exactly the easiest thing to place. As I will show you, you've got to have a nice. I'm on um, Hagenstad here, by the way. Uh, this is my save game, but I've not actually saved it. Um, I've just come in, used it to, for the materials and everything. But as you can see, it's if it's on a con something that's a bit like concrete, you're good to go. Try and put it on the field and look. If the field's not even remotely even, you can see it's going to glitch through. And I'll pl plaster one down. As you can see, it's 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 gone. It disappears. So you're going to find your tip points harder to find, etc., etc., etc. So just for ease of use for yourselves and everyone else, it's probably easy just to find yourself a flat bit of land and place it on there if you can. If not, you're going to have to try and remember by eye whereabouts roughly they are. But anyway. Uh, the same can be said for the rest of them. Um, they're pretty much the same. Uh, again, you get lettuce greenhouse in here. And that's again thousand pounds or whatever currency you're working in, plus a hundred pounds per day to r maintain. Again, same principle: manure and uh, water and pallets. And the uh, you get next one, which is pumpkins. Now, again, let's get that time of year. So 
Halloween just around the corner, so you can start growing your own pumpkins for Halloween. Um, so again, that's a hundred thousand pounds to buy, and one hundred pounds per day in maintenance. Next one is raspberries, and that's um, again same price, a hundred thousand pounds per purchased, and a hundred pounds per day in maintenance. And the next one, lot. Uh, not the last but least but sorry uh, red cabbage and that's again thousand pounds per day to purchase hundred pounds per day to maintain then strawberries same again um, tomatoes exactly the same again um, now this is the next bit which is the pallet production side of it uh, that is a seventy-five thousand pounds to purchase and hundred pounds per day to maintain, and the sawmill. Now you don't have to have this sawmill for it to work. It will work with any Maru scripted sawmill. Um, it's pretty much the Maru script that runs it, so you don't necessarily have to have that one to go with it. But that the sawmill is a hundred seventy-five thousand pounds to buy and a hundred pounds per day in maintenance. Anyway, we go to the next part of it. As you can see, um, it will flash up that it's empty at some points as well. So it does tell you by, sort of like, lets you know when it's empty so you can come and fill it up or whatever. But obviously, the next stage of the operation is. So let's go and see if there's another pallet over by the sawmill. There might well be. If not, let's grab it anyway. I've got a few pallets there anyway, but just to show you guys, you don't necessarily have to use the ones in game, which might be empty and I might be wasting my time. Yeah, it's empty and I'm wasting my time. But you don't have to. It's the one I've been using to fill it up, so just to test to see what, how it works. The next thing obviously you need to do with this mod. Grab the pallet. Give my poor driver. I should have brought the pallet fork in but didn't. Uh, there we go. Grab the pallet. Drive the pallet over. And throw it in onto the pallet production. You don't necessarily have to do to get this going straight off the get go, but it's one of the things you will need to do to get the warehouses to work. Oops. Keep them throwing it in uh, until either it's full or uh, you've got enough to make up at least one pallet. And over, you'll see it here, it's one pallet works out percentage. You're going to need at least 10 pallets for this to be full. So bear that in mind, guys. So you might want to start making your pallets. Or if you've got a stock load of pallets, then you're fine. But if you haven't, then you're going to have to start making some pallets to really make this. Um, worth your while. You don't necessarily have to have a full pallet. Um, you can pick a pallet out of that at any stage. So it can be half produ production, uh, half um, started or whatever. And bring them over. And I'll show you that in a minute. But while that's filling up, what I'll do is I'll go over to the tomato, sorry, tomato, pumpkin. And um, Start to show you how to fill the work your greenhouses up, as you say. 
So, to fill up the greenhouses, like it says, you need water and manure. So, it's quite straightforward. The tip point for the water is roughly around here, as you can see, it pops up. So, obviously, just unload. Realistically, it'd be better off actually driving around the other way if you've got these types of trailer. Um, you obviously will need some sort of water transport trailers or uh, manure trailers for this to dump, but it is just a regular tip point and it does pick it up quite freely and easily. Right, so that's full now. So we'll park this just out of the way. the old John Deere over here, it should be around here somewhere, there it is, because it's got manure in it. And then you drive it up to, you drive your manure into the dump point, which is good to around the corner here. See the tip point comes up as soon as you back in. Throw your manure in. Again, it doesn't take an earth shattering amount to fill it up. Fair amount, but you can also use your front loaders in the same fashion as well. Just drive them in to this point, dump it off if you wish. You don't have to use a trailer. And then, so if we walk up to the panel here, you can see it, we've uh, filled up both the water and the feed, which is the was the manure. Uh, now we just need empty pallets. And I'm going to demonstrate to you. I'll fast forward a little bit just to get some more on that pallet. It should always start. Might made a start on producing some. So yeah, it has. So I'll just quickly fast forward time. And produce a little, a few, uh, enough on this pallet to sort of like warrant taking it over to that greenhouse. See, it's quite a slow process, so you know you'd want to start building this up as soon as you can and sort of like, you know just build up your pallets while you're doing other stuff around your farm um, you know it's not one of those ones that you can quickly gain anything from as the hail comes rolling in oh well for all of the old fields anyway but anyway I'll eat I'll uh, that should be enough just for whoops just for uh, let me just jump back over to it. Back over to my tractor. There we go. That should be enough just for demonstration purposes. I was going to do this a bit of more of this off screen, but it takes quite a while to load these up. So it's definitely something you'd need to sort of like spend, give you, keep you busy over the weekend, that's for sure. Good hour, few hours of gameplay. In this mod alone. So pick them up. I oh know it's only a couple of pallets, but again, like I say, for demonstration purposes, drive them over to the desired where greenhouse that you want to fill up. I left that John Deere away. It's never a good thing. Um, and then just drive them up to this point here. And Bob's your uncle. You can see, okay, it shows a full pallet appearing there, but it's not a bad thing. Um, as you can see, now we've got, we walk over to the pumpkins here, and you can see it's now got some pallets in it. Uh, enough to sort of like, well, it's got at least a couple of pallets, or a pallet or so to um, make a start on. So 4% is coming up with. 
Uh, but the fun again, if I fast forward time. As you can see, it comes up with uh, lettuce greenhouse feed empty. It's just telling me that some of these other ones are empty and I haven't really used them yet. Have I put this in the wrong? I have put this in the wrong thing. Whoops. What one have I started filling then? Oh, that one. Empty. Silly. It's the old Kev. Let's try again. Oops. Try that again. This time choose the right warehouse rather than the greenhouse, I should say. Rather than the wrong greenhouse. Downside of picking up just a single pallet or a couple of pallets is it's a little bit finicky. But anyway, go to the right greenhouse this time. It's this one here. And then fast forward time again. And then it should start up like that. And as you can see, the uh, it starts to produce uh, pumpkins for you or whatever for you. Um, and once the pallet is full, you can again you have to fork it off. We'll wait until it is full. Shouldn't take long. Was fifty percent full. This thing, we might as well just use this up one. Oh, the hell! It's already full. Why not? I filled in earlier here. So if I just quickly go over to this one and demonstrate, just literally pull it off. Not like any normal wall pallet or anything else like that. Try and get your forks up, lined up right, and then you might get it up the first time, unlike me. <laughs> there we go. So you take the pallets off. You don't have to, well, you can store them. You can. Actually, I've not tried this on the Rossen Fowler. I'm wondering if it would work. So I'm going to try to try that, because these are raspberries. I want to see if it works with the Rossen Fowler greenhouses, actually. If you've got the Ross and Fowler greenhouses, then this is an extra sort of form of income. One of these greenhouses is ro raspberry, so quick trip, quickly pop out. Uh, cucumber, strawberries, cherries, plums. Carrot, paprika, lettuce, olive, grapes. Oh, I don't know. I don't think I've got raspberries. I thought I had raspberries. Apples, cucumber. Oh, 
No, obviously not. Okay. So with raspberries they can't use that or whatever. But you can sell these at the um you can sell these at the actual uh, wool sell point. Um, I don't know if it will work with the Ross sell points. You'd have to try for yourself, guys. Um, as you can see, it's definitely uh, definitely got your right. There's this strawberries, raspberries. I said strawberry. It looks like strawberries on the front there. I'm sure that's a raspberry greenhouse. I could be wrong. Yeah, raspberries. Um, but anyway, I'll leave it at that, guys. I hope you enjoyed <laughs> the mod showcase. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like. And uh, if you know anyone else that might find the mod showcase useful to their farm or what they might enjoy doing it for themselves, um, or watching it for theirself, I should say. Um, please don't forget to share, it helps me out a lot. And if you're uh, new to my channel and you see future mod showcases or anything else that I'm working on, please don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.